three days we would do holy fasts again, you know. But last year we couldn't do that. We could not do that. Things happen, maybe it's Almighty God's way to draw us to Him. So we didn't fast. And she did her thing, I did my thing. And this one day, I was reading the Bible. And I opened my, my phone to scroll to Bible scriptures to read. And Almighty God's movies popped out. I've seen that something like 10 years ago already. But then I thought it was, it's not true. I thought it's false, right? So I pushed, pushed it aside. And now the movie pop up. And it just keep popping up. You know, every time I scroll, one or two different things, God's Almighty God's movie comes up. I said, why is it like this? Let's watch. So I watched the movie, right? I watched the movie. And with that particular movie, I forgot what the title was. But it answers my questions. You know, they debate. They debate over the Bible and Almighty God's words. So that mo particular movie alone has already answered a lot of my questions and my curiosities because it has expressed the truth, right? After watching the movie, I go, let's watch some more. So I search for more movies and watch it. I watched for one whole week. One whole week. And I told my wife, saying, honey, you should watch the movie too. This is Almighty God. I think it's true. I don't think it's false like people say. I also did a search to see if Almighty God is true. When I did the search, of course, the mass media and then the church, they said, yeah, Almighty God is not the true God. It's false. But when I look at, when I see one of the interview of the Chinese people, and they brought in this farmer to interview, and what goes in my mind is, why don't they interview important people but the farmer? It's like they're paying the farmer to say whatever they want to say. Propaganda, right? They pay this farmer to say whatever they want to say. So that discredit there, ability to to convince me that almighty god was false and so i told her to watch the movie and she watched the movie then i went on to then watching movie isn't enough for me so i wanted to read to check the almighty god word website right so i went to uh, church of almighty god and there I found the website and when I look, the re look at the resources and they have a lot of books, lots more videos. And so I tried to download the Bible. The word appears in the flesh. And I downloaded it and I began reading it. And I told her saying, this is God talking. This is God talking. Is uttering words to the people on earth. And so she was skeptical at that time too. But she continued watching the video and I continued feeding her with the things that I read from the Bible. And she goes, hmm, let me see. And so she read the Bible too, right? So we both read the Bible, we both watched the movies. And every a lot of movies there's always debate between the Bible and, and Almighty God's words. And watching those debates in the Bibles really opens up our mind, really opens up our eyes too, to the truth. And just with that, it really answers all my questions about the Bible. Right? All, it answers all my questions about the Bible as to why is it like this? How is it like this? When is this going to happen? You know, at first, I never thought about the prophecy that the Lord Jesus made in, with the Apostle John in the book of Revelation chapters 1, chapters 2 and 3, which says, Whoever have an ear, let him hear what the Holy Spirit says to the church. It never occurred to me until I read the Bible and watched those movies 
then I really understand what this means. You know, although we are, we are born in the spirit, we have spiritual gifts too, but I, it did not occur to me. After reading this Bible, the word appears in the flesh and watching these movies, we know for sure that that December, when we were supposed to be fasting and praying, <coughs> did happen, but it was God's intention to draw us to Him, to the current time, to the current time, Almighty God, the in time words. And so we have believed, we have followed Almighty God uh, since Christmas of last year. And uh, today, before I go to bed, I have to read at least a chapter before I go to sleep, no matter how late it is at night. So every night, uh, just before falling asleep, I have to read. But last week, because I was sick, I wasn't able to read. And like Almighty God's Word says, if you don't miss the Word, then you don't love God. Then, and you don't believe in God. But if you go for one or two days and you miss the word so much, it's like your significant other isn't with you for a whole year. That feeling right there is telling, saying that you truly love God. You truly don't want to be apart, I mean, away from God, you know? So I just want to thank Almighty God that He has drawn us to Him, not people coming to tell Him about to us that him himself leading us to him. Tell them about lesson 74. Yeah. That is nice. Lesson 74. If they read lesson 74, oh. then they know who they are. There is this one time, uh, as uh, I think uh, two months ago, she was reading Almighty God's Word, chapter 74, one of the passages. And she goes, honey, what is this? So when I read it, I said, God is talking to you. Right? And she was laughing at me. And I said, what? Okay, let me read it again. Then when I read it, it's like God is saying, I'm not talking to her. I'm talking to you. You that is reading right now, I'm talking to you. It caught me, you know, it caught me. I got so emotional, I cried. I cried, burst out crying as I read the passage because he really, really did talk to me, not anybody else, right? He's, he's talking to the person who is reading. That's correct, right? right. So the person who ever is reading when you it. read something that applies to you, it's like, ooh. Yeah. That's yeah. exactly, yes, that. yes. Yeah. the holy fasting <laughs> we didn't know about fasting right so we let, let the holy spirit let us only we did not read